Hello and welcome, Mininth here. To keep the intro short while also giving it the mention it deserves, welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you, Egg, for sending them my way. Today I wanted to show you all a little trick with the Steam Controller. Those of you who game mostly at your desk may not find it specifically useful, but the technique can be applied elsewhere. This is really aimed at the around the house gamer, playing in the living room through a Steam Link or somewhere else through the Steam Link app on mobile devices and you don't really have access to your keyboard in those situations. Straight into the point, open up the big picture configuration. So we're going to go to settings, controller, big picture. Then we're going to navigate over to the on-screen keyboard action set. From here we're going to go down to the touch pads and click start to see the advanced settings. Then we'll see the outer ring binding, but we're going to go into additional settings. And the goal is to get the outer ring binding to cover the entirety of the pad so you can do that either by bringing it all the way down or maxing it out completely which I like doing and then inverting it either way we'll get it to cover the whole thing then in the actual binding what you're going to want to do is where's it at ah press right key that's correct so with the press right key we're also going to go to the activator type and we're going to put it to a re release press even though it's kind of glitched, it says none, remove activator, it says release pre press up there. So then we're going to do the same thing over on the left cursor. Press left key. Additional settings, outer ring binding all the way up. And inverted. And what this is going to do is essentially enable cell phone-like touch typing on the on-screen keyboard. Uh, it won't be quite the same because the visual feedback is of course on the screen and not on the controller. Uh, that's kind of why you do the release press. That way you can kind of adjust before you actually type. So let's go ahead and bring up the OSK. And you can kind of see how it's... Ah, I didn't set it to release press, did I? So let's go... I'm doing this live, so you know how it is. Settings, big picture configuration, on screen keyboard, press left key, advanced settings, activators, yep, release press. So it won't even work on regular press. That's good to know. And now it should work fine. Let's double check it just to make sure. So. Phone like touch. Let me put the on screen keyboard in a better spot so you can see it, see it actually typing. Oops. All right, and there we have it. Just a simple trick to make typing on the on-screen keyboard a little bit more enjoyable. Thanks for watching.